Drop those ace cates, pop those kappas, raise your dongers, whatever you need to do, guys. We are in the grand finals, the best of five finals for the APSC2 StarCraft Christmas Invitational. Of course, APSC2 is a Spanish team. They've worked hard to put this together. They had a lot of their players compete, but as we see, it all comes down to two of the top Europeans. Regardless of your team, if you're the best, you'll make it above the rest. Spawning in the lower right corner of the map, playing for Vorte, or sorry. <laughs> playing for Mouse Sports, it is the Yellow Zerg player, Vortex. And his opponent spawning opposite of him in cross spawn locations in the top left, playing for Acer. Team Acer, it is. Nurchio. Or Acer Esports. Damn it, you, I never mess this up. Doom, I hope, Doom, if you ever listen to this broadcast, the one time you said Team Acer, you screwed me up for life. Because I've always said Acer Esports, and now I can't get it right ever. But okay. This is the best of five finals between probably two of the better Zerg players. Honest to God, your pass offer. The only other person I'd throw in here is like, you know, well, save Bly, for example. Maybe like Snoot or TLO or Damaga. But I mean, realistically, uh, there's a Christmas tree. Woo! <laughs> but realistically, uh, these are two of the better players that could possibly be playing this matchup in this finals. Now, a best of five kind of actually does change the dynamic of this a little bit. In a best of three, you don't really have as many games to, uh, how, do I, how do I phrase this, to YOLO with, I suppose you could call it. Uh, you do have to be somewhat careful, at least in game number one, so you got to feel for your opponent, see exactly how things go. I guess the Christmas tree is a little appropriate, by the way. It's the Christmas Invitational. But uh, I don't think we're going to see anyone do something that uh, really risks the series too early. That being said, it doesn't mean they won't be aggressive, but we probably won't see anything that relies purely on an all-in in order to win. Uh, Nurtio is sticking on uh, one base for now, though, as I, as I say these things that I'm so incredibly incorrect about. Uh, four things coming out, though, with an expansion. Okay, so I feel a little bit better. He's not all-ending. I was like, man, he's going to one base speed lane? That's going to be insane. That's not going to work. <laughs> But okay, four links coming out uh, is a little bit more. So to explain the point of these four links, uh, he's actually going to leave two at home to try and catch the two links that come across the map from Vortex to Scout. Or never mind, actually just going to send all four across the map. So might actually be able to kill some drones with this. So normally you see the two links come across, they enter your base, Zerg player kills it with queens, they get scouting information, yada, yada, yada. It's boring stuff. It doesn't get a lot done. But with four Zerglings, you're actually afforded all that same stuff and the potential of killing one or two drones. Keep in mind, you only need to kill like one worker to make this quote-unquote worth making those extra two links. Uh, runs past the first two. Two more coming. Vortex might realize this a little too late. Uh, Nurture chases it off and goes for a drone kill here. Does try and get a little ahead of him. One more hit on speed. On creep. Oh, he's going to get denied. His, the, the brothers... They, they defend quite nicely. I guess first blood went off in the middle of the map somewhere. I missed that. But Nurcio did win that little Zergling scuffle by the looks of things. Walks away with three. You can heal him up and walk him back in. Or just take him back home. Save these for Banelings. Either way, natural base is coming up. Again, it's a little bit behind that of Vortex's. But Vortex isn't exactly money off of it. He had to pull off that, of course, with the Lings. And 16, 15, saturation on one. It's not that big of a deal. Now if this was like 20 workers on one base, and you're like, oh, geez, way to go, Nurcio. You freaking lose with that sort of saturation. But uh, the Banelane Nest is coming out here for Nurcio. Metabolic boost finishing for both players. But as we see, uh, actually, Vortex not opting to go for too much. He already has the Banelane Nest down and is investing. I say not too much. I should say a lot because that's a lot of Zerglings about to come out. Ten more on the way and already plenty on the field. In fact, 16 already available to him. Nurture will need some really good defenses here. He will need some good bailing hits if he wants to stay in the series. If he wants to not go down so quickly here in game number one. Uh, spine car coming down perhaps a little bit too late. Ooh, first bailing hit, not bad, but not good by any means. Has to be careful about this. Uh, of course, you guys got to keep in mind what Nurture needs to do is keep two Banelings alive at any given time to deal with the Banelings of his opponent. He cannot afford to simply waste them on his opponent's Zerglings like this. Uh, without the extra Queens, without the extra spine crawler, folks finding this Baneling down doing what he can to keep it from connecting. Will move his Banelings forward to intercept. Tries to go for the Banelings connect. 
Uh, Dead makes a little prematurely, but still kill. There's no more Banleys left for his opponent. Now with his own Banley, should be able to clean this up. Beautiful hit inside the main. Gets a lot of the circles, but they're not done yet. They killed the queen, and now they're going for the workers. Uh, does run into the Banleys of Nurture. Surprise! And many of the Lings die. Vortex did cut workers to make this happen, and Nurture holds on quite nicely. Now, 29 to 20 workers. So there's still more Banleys outside of Nurture's base, but he's not in any uh, immediate concern. He's had his morphin' in, so he'll be able to kill them before they uh, finish up. Cocoons might have a little more health, but they don't have insane armor like Zerg eggs do. I, by the way, someone riddle me how that works. Why do they not just equip Zerg units with the egg carapace? Am I right? <laughs> but okay, Vortex still going to morph a couple more in. He's not done with his aggression yet, but uh, I don't think he's going to get a whole lot more done. With a spy collar finish and the focus fire for the queen, Nurture should be able to keep the Banelings from doing too much to him. All right, well. Uh, layer on the way for Nurchio. So Vortex is actually disengaging off this entirely. What I find kind of cute is Nurchio has chosen to put the layer in the natural base. Not a bad decision, but uh, does leave it a little more exposed. Although a lot of the times in ZVZ, rarely do you see the actual layer or hive go down. It's usually the tech structures that die, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can't make roaches, GG. So it's not like it's a bad placement for it. Just... Bit odd is all. Third base being taken as well. With all his gas is taken, I'm smelling mutilisks out of Nurchio. But uh, Vortex as well, with all of his gases, may also go for the same Spire. And yeah, Spire coming out of Nurchio. One thing you really look for too is when the layer time is coming out, like is there an evolution chamber or not? Does he have upgrades on the way? Does he plan to go for the upgrades? And without a Roach Warren and without evolution chambers, pretty clear that it's going to be mutilisks. And of course, Vortex constantly scouting with the links might not be killing things, but he confirms also, hey, there's no. Evolution Chambers, there was no uh, Roach Warren on the front lines. Chances are I'm going to have to deal with Mutalist. So we'll see if he goes for his own, knowing that he'll be slightly behind that of his opponent. But what's really scary for Muta vs. Muta, if that's the case, is Vortex is going to have to deal with his opponent having a whole third base over him for quite a lot of time, too. He hasn't even begun his yet. Just now putting it down. Uh, gotta be careful with the Banelings. Nurture, of course, really wants to cause some damages, but it looks like we will have Muta Wars. For Nurture, this is quite important. If he if he kills or denies or even slows down this third base, oh god, it's so close to dead. Killed, no cancel for Vortex. Good game. Now a lot of you might be like, why was that over? That wasn't the end of the game. That was the end of his life. Knowing that his opponent was going Mutalisks, being that far behind in that third base, he knew that anything at that point on would just be wasted, drawn out time. So Vortex, GG's out. It might seem abrupt, but it made total sense, guys. So game one will go to Nurchio.